Yeah. Yes, guys, we are back. Arsenal versus Carabag. 1 0 finish. Yours truly. Microphone check. What's going on, guys? Obviously, I just thought I'd just give you my views. Oh, here it is. Here it is. There it is. Arsenal 1, Carabag 0. Thoughts on the game, first and foremost, just at the end, Saka, Saka should have finished that ball. Bro. I think he had too much time on the ball, you know, like you're in those chances as a player, you get the ball, you're like, ah, oh, if I get this ball, I'm gonna put it here, I'm gonna slot it there, blah, blah, blah. It's too much time to think. Sometimes it's best to just, well, not hit and hope, but just, do you know what I mean? Like, get the ball, put your head down, and just guess where the keeper's not gonna go. Unfortunately, he did, he did guess the keeper did guess the right way and um, he got winded for it. But yeah, Saka's probably going to be kicking himself. But still, it was, a great, it was a great performance for him. He's still 17. The guy is 17, guys. Making me feel old. Who else? It was good to see Ozil back. And he looked, he looked sharp at times. Looked a lot more hungrier on the ball. So, oh, for the ball. Just good link-up play. Be interesting um, to see whether he'll play against Southampton on Sunday. I'm, I'm gathering he will. Um, also, I think he would probably start as what Lacazette. Now, Lacazette, yeah. Let me sit down for this shit. Lacazette. The thing about Lacazette, this is why I like, and I keep saying this, I keep saying this, like, if you see me in my Arsenal fan TV appearances, yeah, you'll see that with Lacazette, it's the thing where if you give him a chance, you give him an inch, yeah, you give him a little inch, this guy will punish you. Nightmare for a defender. He kind of reminds me of like, he does remind me of Ian Wright in terms of like, you know, obviously he's short, but he's quick. You know, he turns on the sixpence and he can finish. And the guy, the guy can finish, man. And it's, there's been a number of times where he's been in that situation. Like he hasn't got much to play with and he manages to squeeze out either a shot on target or a goal. So I'm happy with that. It was a great finish. Um, can't remember who won the ball. I think it was in Ketty, I think. And then um, slotted it through to him. And like he turned on the six pin, but you could see he's already on the half turn. He was already on the half turn. He was already ready. He was prepared, and managed to just yeah, that's better. He shifted the ball to the right, and then um, the defender. Do you know what I mean? It's just that split second as a defender, you kind of like you're kind of trying to move with him and try and guess where he's going to shoot and then try and block it. He's so good at that. You know what I mean? And this is like we're we're dealing with inches here. That's why I say he's so deadly. I call him lack of threat. The man is lack of threat, guys. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's just a shame. Obviously, like it's it's the last what Europa game. We wanted to probably like, you know, give the fans a little bit. The fans that were at the stadium wanted to give them like a nice little send off, but it just wasn't. You know what I mean? It just wasn't to be. I think the last third we kind of lacked that kind of killer instinct. But I think we probably just wasn't motivated. We wasn't really motivated, or maybe yeah, because we were already qualified. It's kind of a thing like let's just play. You know, let's just enjoy ourselves, you know, let's just try and keep try and keep focus for the game on the weekend. I think people are ready or the players are preparing themselves mentally for the Sunday. And for me, it's like if I'm those players, I'm playing out of my skin. So Emery, you know, he sees me, he notices me and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna play him. You know what I mean? I thought El Nenny had a a decent a decent game. Do you know what I mean? Still I don't think he's he good enough to break into that first team, no. Uh who else stood out for me or who else was I happy with? Socrates, again, another solid performance. The fact that Holden is not there as well is, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a good thing that we've still got a good centre-back. And then, speaking of centre-backs, how can I not forget? Big Kosh, yeah? Big Lauren Koscielny is back. <coughs> Koscielny is back. Um, great relief for us, great relief for the fans. Great relief for him, I'm sure. He's been away for, they said about what, how many? Minute? I can't even remember how many minutes they said like he's been away for, that like, he's missed. It's so good to see him back. Um, obviously, he didn't play the full night. He's probably not 100% match fit, but I think we need him for Sunday. And we need him in the team since, uh, you know, Holden is not there. I think he's going to slot back nicely. It's just good to have that leader back, do you know what I mean? Leader in the pack. So now we've got Monreal back, we've got Koscielny back, Bellerin, and then we'll have Socrates probably sitting there at the back. So it's all right. It's still good. You know, I think in January, Emery's probably going to want to buy some players. So, hey, what can I say? It's 1-0.
like I said, Saka, he had that chance at the end, he fluffed it. Sad for him, but <laughs> I'm sure he get more chances. And Ketty as well was very keen. But that's three points. It doesn't really matter, we already qualified. So yeah, come on you gooners.